Morning, Abotai, Ayrib Shabbat Shalom. There's a halacha that Manan Shulchan Aruch brings down uh, from several places in the Gemara. It's in Siman Arish Memtet, the halachot of eating a meal on Ayrib Shabbat. Now, obviously, we know that on Lil Shabbat, the person has to enter Shabbat uh, hungry and with appetite to eat the Lil Shabbat meal. So, is it mutar or not to eat a meal on Ayrib Shabbat? So, really, it's, we can split it up into three different kinds of meals. One is a meal that a person is accustomed to having during the rest of the week. One is a kind of meal that is so big that a person doesn't usually have it during the week. And the third is not really a meal at all. It doesn't have bread. So as follows. If it's a meal that a person usually has throughout the week, the halacha is, for instance, let's say a person has breakfast every morning, he has some bread, cheeses, whatever it is, that, or even for lunch, the halacha is that kind of meal according to the letter of the law. A person can eat any time on Eid of Shabbat. Breakfast, lunch, later in the afternoon, whatever it is, according to the letter of the law, it's mutar. Mitzvah min muvchar, even such a meal that a person usually has during the week, it's a mitzvah to stop having such a meal three hours before Tzedek Chavim, which is Sha'a Asirit. Okay, so that is with regards to that kind of meal. Then you have a different kind of meal that is a big kind of meal. For instance, uh, a buffet, going out to a restaurant, you know, a big kind of meal that a person does not usually have during the week. That is a sur to have on Eid of Shabbat, and the entire day is included in the sur, which means already from Alot HaShachar, even early in the day, breakfast, it's a sur to have such a meal. The, the, um, so there is an exception to that rule, which is a seudat mitzvah. Seudat mitzvah, milah, pidyon, uh, a wedding, if you have it on Friday, the halacha is that a person can have such a meal on Friday, but still, or seudat purim, you have to still try to have it early enough on Friday as possible. Then you have a different kind of meal, uh, which is not really a meal. Let's say it doesn't have bread, rice, vegetables, a little bit of meat. That's mutar all day long because it's not a meal. Nevertheless, a person should try to have it as early as possible, not to have it late because sometimes that can also weigh you down and you won't have appetite when you go into Saudat Lin Shabbat. There's, there's a minhag, minhag, whatever, but uh, what some people do, I've seen in Israel, I've seen it over here, uh, that's really not a good minhag. Sometimes what happens is the entire family, all the children and grandchildren, they come to the grandparents' house, grandparents, grandmother, whatever it is, on Fridays to come visit, and the grandmother cooks up a storm with all sorts of foods and ma'achalim, and they gather there sometimes even later in the afternoon, and they think they're doing a mitzvah by coming to visit the grandmother, kibud avayim, but they're really doing an isur of pounding such heavy meals on Eid of Shabbat, sometimes even with bread and things like that, which is a real isur. So that, that minhag should be abolished. You want to go, you want to visit, taste a little bit here and there, that's fine. But to actually sit down to such a big meal, that is uh, not a good thing. Agaon Kafachaim actually brings down, um, to end off this halacha, he says that a person should be careful not to enter Shabbat after having drunk a lot of alcoholic beverages. Uh, you know, tasting a little bit, having a lachai, well, that's, that's one thing. But sometimes people, for whatever reason, I don't know, they have a happy hour, whatever it is, on Fridays, and they drink, uh, you know, they, they drink a lot, and they enter Shabbat. The Kaf Chaim says, there's nothing more degrading, there's no greater zilzul l'chvot Shabbat than to enter Shabbat intoxicated, and also that's going to impinge on a person's ability to have the Seudat Lin Shabbat. So a person should be careful uh, of that as well. Have a wonderful day, and Shabbat Shalom. Uh, this evening, early uh, Mincha is going to be upstairs in the penthouse at 6.35, Bezat Hashem, and down here at 7 p.m. Have a wonderful day, and Shabbat Shalom.